everybody. Today's activity is called toothpick towers. So the materials you're gonna need are some toothpicks and round toothpicks work best. And then you're gonna need some type of material to use as your connector to connect your toothpicks together. So you can either use Play-Doh, you can use marshmallows, you could use gumdrops, you could use grapes, um, you could use candy corn, clay, anything you have at home that you think might hold together these toothpicks. So if you have different types of materials you wanna use, um, I recommend using one at a time. So if you're gonna use marshmallows, use all marshmallows for one tower, and then you can either take that one apart and reuse the toothpicks or use some new, to new toothpicks and start a new tower with a different material if you'd like to use Play-Doh or some other material. You should have Play-Doh from another stem bag that you've gotten earlier um, this year. So I'm gonna start off using, I think, the Play-Doh. So there's lots of different ways you can do this. Um, so the way I show you isn't the only way you can build a tower. So your goal is to um, build the tallest tower you can that will support its own weight without falling over. So you don't wanna connect anything to the table. So with this Play-Doh, um, I can start with a couple pieces and I'm gonna make, roll it into some balls here and you can make them any size you want. You can make a couple different towers with different sizes just to see how big. Um, you can make it how tall until it falls over. Now one thing you notice about Play-Doh is it's soft, so you're able to mold it into different shapes. So I'm just gonna make a few here, kind of like a medium size, just rolling it in between my hands to make some different sizes. Now. The bottom can be lots of different shapes. So I might actually try a triangle. So I'm just gonna take my toothpick and push it in until I feel it from the other side. And I'm gonna try this bottom or this base as a triangle. Now to build it up, I'm gonna stick some more toothpicks in it. And I'm gonna try and keep them in the middle since the Play-Doh soft, it may start to fall apart. But that's just part of the challenge, is to see what way works the best. And if you try something and it doesn't work, don't get upset, move on to plan B and try something else. Because you never know what might work. So I'm just pushing these in till they poke through the other side. Now the more toothpicks you get in a piece of Play-Doh, it gets crowded inside there. So you might have to kind of feel around to where there's an empty space. So now I have to make a few more balls of Play-Doh. I'm losing it here. This Play-Doh's fallen um, to keep connecting. Now I'm not gonna make this as tall as I can because I want you to do this to see about how tall you can make it on your own. So this is one way, okay? And you can keep continuing to make your tower taller and taller. You could make it wider first and then taller. Um, I'm actually gonna take this apart here for a minute. Um, you can try a different shape on the bottom. So you could try a square Maybe that one will be will allow you to build a taller tower. It depends. I don't know the right answer here, so it's all up to you. So there's a lot of things that can change. Maybe you have flat toothpicks. Maybe you have round ones. Uh, maybe you want to make your connector pieces, your Play-Doh in this case, uh, larger in size or maybe smaller in size. You kind of need to see what works the best. Um, another way you can do this is maybe you want to take some Play-Doh and I'm just gonna roll this out. I don't wanna roll it too thin because I need something for my toothpicks to hold up in. And this will hold some toothpicks. So I'm just gonna kinda jab them in there. And that's working pretty good actually. And then I'm just gonna take another piece and do this. 
and maybe stretch it out, lay that on top. And that's a tower too. So maybe I could add another layer of toothpicks and another layer of Play-Doh. Maybe the Play-Doh needs to be thinner, maybe it needs to be thicker, okay? You kind of have to just change the different ways that you build it and the materials you have, see how you can change those to make your, your tower try and stand up without falling over. And this one's doing a pretty good job actually. So that's with one way, with the Play-Doh. And I'm just gonna move this out of the way. We're gonna try a different one. So the next way you can do this is with some marshmallows. So it just so happens, the only marshmallows I have at my house happen to be vanilla flavored snowman. So they're not the typical round ones and it's up to you what size. Maybe you want to use the mini marshmallows, maybe you want to use the larger marshmallows. Now, the thing with marshmallows is they're pretty soft, okay, just like the Play-Doh. So again, you can choose to make your bottom, your base shape, in many different ways. It could be like, again, you can make it real wide. Maybe we can make this one a different shape. So all I'm doing again is taking my toothpicks and jabbing them inside there. And these marshmallows are pretty long, so these are actually gonna work pretty good. But a little tip I'll give you is that marshmallows are like the Play-Doh, like we said, are soft. If you know anything about leaving marshmallows sit out or crackers or bread, they get stale, they start to dry out. And when that happens, they get a little more hard, they get firmer, and they actually work a lot better for making these towers. Because the taller this gets, you're gonna run into to some challenges where it's gonna start to want to lean because you might not be putting the toothpick right in the center or it might be inside one more than the other like you might push it through and if you see if I all I gotta do is do this and it's gonna start to wobble so these ones actually work pretty good because they're pretty lo long they're a nice size but the smaller ones a um, a little advice is maybe leave them sit out for a couple hours and they'll get a little harder and they'll hold up because the taller you get, it's gonna start getting a little, like swaying a little bit. So, so like I said, your goal is just to create the tallest you can and experiment with different connector pieces. So in this case, the marshmallows are the connector pieces and see what happens. You're gonna have some setbacks. The taller you make it and the bigger, it is gonna start to lean depending on what type of connector you're using or whatever material, softer ones, uh, are gonna be different than something more firm, say like a piece of clay or a gumdrop. They're a little bit harder. Um, but just use problem solving skills, work through your challenges, keep trying and see what happens. Um, and you'll be able, you'll discover be, whatever different materials you use, which ones would work the best to make the tallest tower. So good luck and have fun.